two days ago, I put together a video listing out my training priorities and probably what your training priorities should be in terms of bag work, sparring, shadow boxing, skipping, what is the most important and where should you put your focus? But then I had a couple comments, people saying you should do this same list, but for beginners. So today is a training priority list for those people looking to learn any striking style. Could be kickboxing, could be Muay Thai, could be karate. We're gonna break down what you should be prioritizing and what is the least important thing that you don't need to worry about until you get more to that intermediate level. So me making a video called the most important training priorities and not really differentiating that this was more for people who had an established base in martial arts is kind of my fault. I should have said this is for the intermediate advanced guys and then I'll follow up with a video like we're doing today for the people who are beginners because you don't want to be making the mistake of prioritizing things that you shouldn't even be moving on to yet. For example, I listed pad work is number one, running is priority number two, and sparring is priority number three. But you don't really need to worry about any of that until your skill level builds. So let's start off and move on to priority number eight, and we will work our way from the least important all the way up to the most important. I gotta do that, work from bottom to top just to keep everybody entertained and make sure you guys don't just get point number one and then skip out on the rest of the video because it's important to have everything properly listed out. So priority number eight, in my opinion, is pad work. And like I said, I listed this as the number one most important thing that I would not be willing to give up in my training camp. But as you are starting off, it's not as important as everything else we're gonna list above because for me, as I mentioned, pad work is that time where I can get a simulation of hard sparring. I can work on my technique. I can work on my defense. Everything is together with a good pad holder, but you wanna break things down individually when you are learning. So pad work is not something that you have to be focused on, even though it is absolutely one of the most fun things you can do in the gym. Priority number seven is to get your clench work on point. And we wanna make sure that clench work is coming along because it doesn't matter if you're doing MMA, kickboxing, Muay Thai, the inside fight game is neglected by many people and is so darn important. But there are other things which are more important, which we will get to, but you still want to make sure this is added in. Keep in mind, there are some things that are so low on the priority list that I didn't even list them. I just put down eight things which you should be working on and kind of ignored everything else, things that you don't even need to think about at this moment. But remember that clench work is absolutely something you want to add in. And if it doesn't come around on your first, second, third week of training, that's fine. Even if it takes a couple months, you will get there eventually, but don't let yourself wait for a super long time because eventually you will want to get this aspect of martial arts down pat. Now next up I want to talk about calisthenics. Obviously cardio is a massive massive part of fight sports but you don't need to head out and start doing the road work early on because the cardio will come and you can improve it but you do want to start building your body strength, especially if you're a beginner. How do we go about doing that? Well, we use calisthenics like push-ups, sit-ups, squats, body weight exercises that are going to make you that much stronger and help improve your cardio. So when you eventually do get to that intermediate stage and start adding in the running and the road work, you're not feeling out of your depth and your cardio is already pretty high. Easy way to add in these type of motions and to challenge your heart rate is to do something like circuits, maybe you do something like 30 seconds of push-ups, 30 seconds of sit-ups, 30 seconds of burpees, maybe 30 seconds of straight punches. You do that as fast as you can for two minutes. You take a one minute break and you repeat three times. Exercises like this are very important and they're gonna benefit you as you move forward in your martial arts career or journey. Next up, we are talking about defense. How do we deal with shots coming at us? 
and obviously it's not a priority or we're not going to prioritize the defense over the offense because the very first thing is to get down all that offense but the defense comes along very quickly and you do not want to forget about it in the beginner stages and I preach on this channel so often that many gyms do not spend enough time on defense so if your instructor is not taking time to teach you defense and actually drill it, grab somebody after class and tell them, throw a jab at me 10 times and you're gonna work block, block, all the different ways that you might evade that jab and then have them throw a round kick and then have them throw the front kick. You have to prioritize the defense and make sure you are learning it so that when we do eventually get to sparring, which isn't even on this list, sparring should not be on the list because you're learning so many other things first. But when you do get to your first sparring session, you have had time to practice your defense. Next up in priority number four, we are talking about bag work. I do not love bag work myself. And when I listed out my training priorities, it was way down low. But for somebody who is starting off, bag work is super important because as opposed to pad work where somebody else is rushing you, telling you what to do, on bag work you can take your time. You can slow down and you're going to be learning about hitting something solid and making sure every bit of your technique is correct. If I throw my hook like this, I'm safe. If I throw my hook like that, I'm going to probably end up injuring something the wrist being the part that's at risk the most right now. So the bag work is gonna be a time to keep you very honest in the quality of your technique, and you can slow things down, create your own combos in your mind, and let them go on the bag. And in addition, as you're doing your bag work, you can work your defense, which we already talked about, which was listed just one below number four, of bag work. Now we're moving into the top three priorities, the very important ones if you are starting off. And we are focusing now on footwork. And in addition to learning your footwork, you can also say that skipping is footwork as well. So I listed skipping super low, super low down. I think it was like the last one, number 10 on my list. But as a beginner, Grabbing the rope and learning to bounce around and just get that movement in place is great. In addition to that, you also want to be practicing pushing backwards, forwards, cutting off on angles, using all that together. But skipping is a fantastic way to start your footwork. And then in addition, you can start practicing moving forward and back in your bag work and all those other aspects. But you do not want to be a stationary target. You don't want to be somebody when you start sparring who is just in one place and you only have your offense and your defense, but you forget about the movement aspect. So make sure you add in your footwork very early on, definitely in the top three in the priority list for me. Next up, number two on the priority list and something that I put down again very low in my personal training priorities as I get ready for a fight is shadow boxing. Shadow boxing is gonna be so darn important because unlike bag work, you can throw but not damage yourself. You're not gonna hurt your fists, your wrists, your foot, your shins when you are shadow boxing. You can take your time, throw everything nice and fluid, come back, set your feet on the ground, work on some footwork, work on some defense. You can put everything together in shadow boxing at a pace that you are comfortable with. That is why this is such an important aspect of learning a martial art and really just getting comfortable with the motions. And the final most important thing in priority lists when you are learning a martial art is to get down the technique. And we are talking here strictly about offense. Now I actually have a video which is perfect for anybody out there who is brand new. You can follow along. It's a full like 40 minute follow along beginner tutorial on striking technique. Perfect for anybody out there. But just keep in mind that the best thing you can do on your first day is just get into your stance, boom, boom, and you just run through the technique. You run through it until you feel really comfortable. Then maybe you go through your kick over and over and over, and then we work our way down in the list. Once you have your technique down, then you move to the shadow boxing, which we mentioned. Then you can start working your footwork after. And then when you're feeling good on all of that, you start adding in bag work because you wanna start getting used to hitting something solid. Work your way backwards once you get the striking technique down. 
Very important when you are a beginner in martial arts to follow this list. You might not agree with me 100%. You might have other priorities. You might want to shuffle them a little bit. But overall, this is sort of your bread and butter on how to get better as fast as possible. You do not want to run in and start doing long distance run or going and focusing on sparring or trying to do really hard pad work on your first days. You're going to make too many mistakes and it's going to slow down your overall progress of getting very good very fast. And that is my training priority list for beginners. If you know somebody out there who would benefit from watching this video, please make sure you share it with them. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you haven't already, join the channel, get subscribed for lots of other videos coming at you daily. And as always guys, train hard and I will see you back here soon for another video.